Hi there, this is uh, Shigan Dasari. So, in this lesson, we are going to learn about uh, increment and decrement operators in C. So, let me launch the IDE here. And open, I have already created a project under the name uh, increment and decrement, which contains the C file increment and decrement.c. So, let's go to full screen. So, so these two are the increment uh, and decrement operators, which are uh, denoted like this with uh, double plus and uh, double minus symbol here. Okay, so to demonstrate the use of these symbols, let us take three variables a, b and c. Okay, let us say the value of a is equal to 10 and uh, use the increment operator here, c is equal to a plus plus. So this means this is the post increment version of increment operator. There is another version called uh, pre-increment. Okay. So the post increment, uh, that means that when you are using uh, an increment operator like this, the internally the compiler expands that as something like this, okay. A plus plus means A is equal to A plus 1, okay. So quickly if you want to print the result of the our increment, you can have a printf statement here and say after the increment or after the post increment to be a bit specific post increment percentage d and c save and run the program you get the output as 10 here so that is because uh, the internally the compiler sees this uh, statement as like this something like this c is equal to a plus plus means c is equal to a is equal to a plus 1 okay so the first the value get assigned to C and then it gets incremented. Okay, so that's the reason when you run the program you are getting the exactly the same value which is stored in A, which is 10. Okay, so now after uh, as we said that uh, it gets assigned and then incremented. If you check the value of A using other printf statement here. percent as d comma okay save and run the program you get 11 here okay so in the post increment version of the increment operator you get the value assigned and then it gets incremented okay so the other version of uh, increment which is a pre increment which is going to be like this plus plus a that means the increment operator precedes the variable whereas in the post increment uh, the increment operator succeeds the variable okay so this is the pre increment pre increment version which also does the same thing but it increments and then assigns the value into the left hand side variable so if you have a print of statement here after the post after the pre increment person d comma c Okay, save and run the program. Since the value of A is 11 from the previous uh, executed statement, it's get incremented by 1 and then assigned to the variable C. Okay, that's the reason we got here 12 by using the pre-increment. Okay, so also the, the value of A will also be the same as the 1 uh, which is stored in C. So if you want, you can display the value of uh, A now. percentage t comma a save and run the program which would also be same as the one in the variable c okay so in the same way we have a decrement operator here so let us take a variable b which you have declared uh, above and let's assign some value into it which is 20 and let's say that c is equal to b minus minus which is the post decrement version of decrement operator post decrement which also uh, works similarly uh, the way which uh, the post increment operated operator worked that means the compiler expands the variable like this the expression like this b is equal to b minus 1 okay so if you print uh, the result print 
I have a message like this after the post statement. Press in D, comma, C. Save and run the program. You get the exact value which is stored in B because, uh, as we seen in the post uh, increment, the compiler will see the this particular uh, statement like this: C is equal to B is equal to B minus one, something like this. So first, the value of B is stored in the variable C, and then it gets decremented. Okay. So now, if you see the value of uh, B, you get the decremented value. Value of B percentage B comma B. Save and run the program. You get 19. Okay. So as the the post increment works, I mean, uh, as the post increment works, the same way the post decrement also works. First, it uh, assigns the value to the left-hand side variable, and then it gets decremented here. So the value is 19 after the assignment. It gets decremented, and when and then we have printed the value of B. Okay, so in the same way we have uh, pre decrement, which is going to work like this c is equal to minus minus p. Okay, pre decrement. Pre decrement, the decrement operator precedes the variable on the left hand side. Okay, so we can have a printf statement here to see whether the, you can say after the pre decrement percentage d comma c so the value is 19 you should expect 18 as the result because uh, in the pre decrement the value gets decremented first and then it assigns to the left hand side variable okay it's 18 okay since the value of uh, b is 19 already it gets decremented first and then assigns it to the variable on the left hand side okay so in the same way, if you check the value of uh, if you check the value of b, it would also remain the same as the value in the c. Okay, the value of b percent d b save it on the program. Get the same exact value. Okay, so. So this is the basic stuff about uh, increment and decrement operators in C. Okay, in the same way, you can have uh, something. Uh, this increment and decrement operators in uh, some of the complex expressions like this also. C is equal to a plus 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 a plus plus. Okay. So before that, let's print the value of uh, a. A is equal to percent d a. Okay, and now let's print the value of C to see the difference how the expression got calculated here. Slash n slash n slash t. C is equal to percent D. C. Okay, save and run the program here. The value of A is 12 until here, and now it got uh, uh, after the execution of this expression, C is equal to A plus 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 A plus plus. The value is now 24. This is because, as we have discussed the the nature of uh, post increment. Here we have used uh, both the post increment uh, operators here of the post increment version of the increment operator. So first the value of a is 12, which gets assigned immediately, and also the value the in this uh, part also the the value of a is again 12. So both the 12s get added, and uh, you get the result as 24 here. The same on the program. So if you change uh, this to pre-increment, you might get a different set of results. This is because the value of uh, a, which is 12, gets incremented to 13 by the execution of this statement, and it gets and it gets incremented to 14 by the execution of uh, this uh, expression on the right-hand side. Okay, then the 14 and 14 gets added, and you get the result as 28. So we save and run the program. So you expect uh, so the, the different result uh, if you are using a pre-increment here. Okay. So this is the basic stuff about uh, post 
increment, pre-increment, post-decrement and pre-decrement operators in C. So see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.